Hey everyone, welcome back to more Total War Warhammer. I am Disturbing Puppet, playing here as Warzog, the Great Green Prophet for the Bloody Hands. So, uh, today I think we're going to try to do a short one. Uh, basically, the goal here is wipe out the top knots who've been a real big hassle. They just have the one territory left. Um, we've got both my full armies down here. We just took Agrol Migdal, which is kind of their base. That is... And we're moving this army up to maybe resupply it. We'll see how my cash supply is once we get some upgrades done. Um, we'll put them into the Dragonborn Mines. We have a bit of an issue with Karak Azul. So they are sort of resurgent. They have the Black Iron Mine, Karak Eight Peaks, Vlaz Sorrow. Uh, they have an army down over here, which might come attack me at Iron Rock. There's also Beastmen camped outside Iron Rock sort of raiding and causing problems. So we'd like at least to take out the Beastmen. Maybe we'll see what else we can do. Um, but getting rid of the top knots once and for all is sort of the priority. At this point, I don't think there's any cash I want to spend on anything. I could put something down here in Agril Migdal. Defenses, we could get something to let me build troops. Could we get squig herds? Light goblins, squid coppers. Um, I think we actually need those, don't we, for a quest now? Let me check. Is it the staff? No, that one we need territories. Squiggly beast. Four night goblins. No, just four night goblins. Alright, that's fine. Um, or is it? How do I get night goblins? I can get goblins. Get goblin big bosses with that. So, along the regular line, orc boys, goblins... Goblin archers. Okay, so I need a tier three of the basic um, kind of building. So I do need to kind of start working on that then, it looks like. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, we could do that down at Agrol Migdal. Where else could I do that? I have a basic one somewhere. I thought I had it here in the Western Badlands. Yeah, I do. It's at Bitterstone Mine. Um... The upgrade is 2,000. We've got to go up to rank 3, which is doable. Uh, I mean, I guess I could do that. I'm going to... Well, I'm going to forget if I wait, <laughs> probably. We might be stable, depending on what I get built next time. I'm still going to hold off. Um, we'll just kind of keep it in mind and progress. we got a whole war going on up here between the vampires and the dwarves. Uh, the dwarves also fighting the greenskins. Greenskins involved in fighting the northern dwarves. Okay, so he's moving back down. All right, that's fine. He's got another army coming. They're still raiding my territory. Mork says it's time to fight. The boys in Wurzog, the Great Green Prophet's army, are ready to go stomping. A colossal wall has been unleashed in the Agro and Migdal region. All right, cool. So, free army. Where am I going to send them, is the question. Um, so, they're going to be kind of down where I'm at. I think we just send them against Karakazul. It's going to take them so long to get there. So you guys, as an objective, just go for Belize's Sorrow. Wait, did I give that to the right unit? No. <laughs> I didn't. You guys! Law target. I don't know how I managed to do that, but sure, whatever. Okay, you guys, no. 
my target, set my target. Yeah, it's not for us, it's for them, so that's fine. Um, yeah, you guys, we're going to actually move over as well, because we want to go deal with those beastmen. I think this army by itself can take care of the top knots. I think. I could rush over as well. Well, I can't get close enough, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's just go for it. I think we can deal with this. Uh, if we take some losses, so be it. Everything. Yeah, they don't have a lot of defenses. They don't have a full army. Just ought to resolve it. Close victory. I didn't lose anything, did I? No. And we want to... Oh, let's subjugate. I think I've seen that before. You'll become the master of the conquered faction. They'll become your vassal, paying tribute each turn. All captives are enslaved. Nah, we want you guys to go away. I'm kind of tired of you guys being around. We're going to loot and occupy. Thank you. Serial Ludo. Sneak Armbreaker is dead. Another Serial Ludo. Province has been secured. Top knots are gone. So down here in Gorgazan, um, we're running a negative. We're going to switch to growth and obedience. Thank you. All right, army-wise. Send me to battle. What do we want to do? Well, we could get a wyvern. That's kind of cool. Think we'll go. Blade Master. We want to make this guy fairly tough. I prefer kind of tough leaders. Uh, we did lose a unit. We're at 19 out of 20. Somebody must have died. Probably a regular goblin unit got killed off there. That's fine. Um, there's nothing local we can grab. Not in a rush to throw any additional units in here, so that's fine. You guys are on your way. We can get you into Dragonhorn. Let's just get you in there. Let's get moving. Trade gain. Politician. Obedience plus one for every concurrent war with a neighboring faction. Alright. Sly, we're kind of on our way over to kind of check things out. Maybe damage armies. I am positive on cash flow. And we're Zog. We want to get back up there as quick as possible. Okay, let's take a look at our territories here. Uh, let me start where things are a little bit less secure. Okay, we're running at zero. I kind of need something to get... Well, if I could grab the other territory, there's one or one other last spot in the territory, then I could actually do an edict across the zone. That would be nice, but I don't have an army anywhere nearby that can do anything. So just to kind of stabilize, I'll temporarily... We'll just throw up a boss's tent. So that's some cash there. We can't do anything at Iron Rock. Barak Var. We just upgraded the port. So we have some extra cash coming in. Um, I'd like to get Varenka Hills and Barak de Wazbag to have some decent defenses, but it's not going to happen quickly. Down here. Which is going to cost me to upgrade to 4. 4,800? Yeah, let's do that. That's kind of the core of my empire here in Ekrand. I do need this to upgrade as well. That's 2,000. I do have a lot of these that I can upgrade for extra cash as we go, just as cost of cash at the moment. I might have some ports I can upgrade, too. Um, Agrol Migdal doesn't have any gold. 
Oh, they do have gold. We've got three there. Um, what do we want? Defenses, possibly. Gorgazon is already... It's been knocked back down to one. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that, I think. I feel like this territory is really vulnerable. Um, Barakvar, we have some decent defenses there. Just the other territories in the area are kind of screwed up. Just awfully weak. We've got defenses everywhere in this area. How much is this? 3,000. Wow. Yeah, I've got to hold off. I need some additional cash. I do need to do some raiding to get some cash. 1,600. I mean, that's doable, but it doesn't get me much extra money. Or any. 20 extra gold. Just kind of getting it back to where it was before. Nothing unique down here, it looks like. I don't have anything to get units in this southern area, but I may not need it. So we could just prioritize defenses and cash. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some defenses there. It's a bit risky, but let's do that as well. Alright, how are things looking in general? So the dwarves have ex just pushed forward into those further mountains. We've kind of pushed them out of the south, except for Karakazul down here. Um, I can only see four territories for them. I wonder if that's it. That's probably it. No, he's got seven. Where do you have more territories? Maybe there's more of the map I can't see. There must be some others in there. They're kind of my next target, probably. So we've got the three there, one there. There must be a few more somewhere. See, the vampires have taken over a decent area. They were fighting quite a bit. The vampires looked like they were winning for a while, but now it seems like the dwarves have won. Uh, greenskins and dwarves were fighting over this. But the dwarves are all very firmly in control now, it looks like. I've managed to push them out, but the greenskins themselves are not doing that well. Don't stand a chance. Or for you, better run. Clan Engrund would like a peace agreement. Uh, you're currently at war with the Vampire Counts, Greenskins, me, and Crooked Moon. I think mainly just me because the um, Greenskins asked me to. So, nah, I mean, I have no idea where you even are, how many things you have. I don't really care. Caracas will does anything here. Two small army. Well, one decent army, one small army. Still being raided by the stupid beastmen. Shiny pit is done. So that's extra cash. Yeah, so we just have to kind of hold off for a bit, I think. We can do some raiding. Uh, I don't have a lot of cash to recruit anything. So you guys are on your way. Orzok, we just need to keep running. So 
So they have their target. Uh, I may leave these guys down here until we actually get fully recovered. We're okay on cash. Yeah, there isn't much I can recruit down here. Only through global. I could grab some squig hoppers or something. Do these guys count as... Yeah, these do count as night goblins. So I could shift maybe some of the night goblin... Like, special units into my main army. So I might only need like one night goblin and then I can throw those two in. So you guys are going to stay put until we heal up. Sly, we're going to sort of look around for some dwarves. Hmm. So if they come over, either one of these two territories are kind of weak. I'll stay here for now, I think. That's fine. Yeah, these guys count as night goblins too. So I do have some night goblins that are just sort of split up. Interesting. Yeah, we'll stay put. I could even put those night goblins from up there, that regiment of renown, into this force. Uh, I probably don't have any cash to do anything. Yeah, I need to kill some stuff, do some raiding or sacking to actually get any decent money coming in. Alright. Keep an eye down here on Karak Azul as they are sort of piling up units here. I see the dark shadow looming over you, Stanty. Okay, Clan Angrin is back. They're willing to pay me for a peace treaty. Well, I do need cash. I don't think they're really near me. I think they're on the other side of the Border Princes. Um, so they're kind of in the mountains over there. Same with Carrick Hearn. I mean, I'm not going to make any moves against them, so you know what? Sure. <laughs> Greenskins will probably come at me soon and demand that I join the war against them, and if so, that's fine. I'll just do that. Characters on the move. Oh, we've got multiple... Okay. Might is right. Obedience plus one. Got a mission issued. A rival tribe and potential ally has been asking your boys to go raiding on enemy lands. The spoils will be ours, of course, and will be seen favorably by these boys, allowing us to dominate them soon. Objectives. Raid a region belonging to any of the following green enemies of Greenskins, Dwarves, Angrund, or Vampire accounts, but doesn't include Azul, Karak Azul. I don't really have access to dwarf territory that close. Um, 24 turns. I don't know if we'll do that. And we're being double raided by beastmen, so that's probably my priority, honestly. Alright. Let's take what should be ours. Zog. Let's continue just running as fast as possible. Heading out. So we'll head up towards where the beastmen are at, probably, with them. We'll let the Wa force go over and maybe distract the dwarves. You guys need to heal more, so... I mean, we'll heal even on the move, so maybe I should just start moving. Um... 
With the army here, we're okay as far as obedience. As soon as we leave, it's going to get worse. But the border's way up there, so... Yeah, let's just start moving as well. Just so I have some options. We can't stay down here forever. We're still getting reinforcements, just not as quickly. Okay. I probably should prioritize anything that's going to give me money. Preferably in a place that's somewhat safe. Iron Rock is not safe. Uh, I mean, Dragonborn Mines or Bitterstone Mine, we could upgrade those. How much is it? 1300 Galbaraz is quite safe. So if I'm going to do it somewhere, I think that makes sense. That's a pretty secure location. So we'll just live with that. Um, I don't really have anything crazy that I want to do, except to deal with these beastmen at the moment. Oh, Gorkill has points. Gorkill! Uh, yeah, you need Route Marcher. And when they're close enough, we'll swap that other uh, Night Goblin unit into that other force. It's going to keep moving. Skins are looking around with their characters. Karakazul. Wandering around. Still being raided, which I'm not a fan of. My goblet went up, alright. Take a look at that in a minute. Wurzag, the great green prophet! <laughs> yeah, Wurzag, we just need to keep running. Sixteen. <laughs> They'll move on their own. Gorkul, st sit tight. Uh, I don't know if it really matters which direction we take here. Going. Where did their army go? So the small one went there. There it is. This guy's taking a while to recover. Alright, skill-wise, let's ambush her. Vanguard deployment. Uh, interesting. I'm just gonna max out the melee defense on him, just to make him slightly tougher. It for characters and stuff. Yeah, nobody else leveled up. Alright, and I have very little cash to do anything. Yeah, so little cash. I can't even really do anything at the moment. Alright. Forces on its way very slowly. It 
Some green skins up there right in the pass. Oh, going for Iron Rock. All right, he's going for Iron Rock again. I have very little defenses. Let's see if he occupies it. We killed nine of them. I think he just sacked it. Yep. Big lever. Even the thickest of gobos can operate a war machine if it has a big enough lever for their scrawny hands to pull. And I'm still being raided, which really sucks too. Alright, tech wise. can't do this. Requires Goblin Workshop. I have a Goblin Workshop, don't I? Maybe that's the upgraded version. Maybe I don't have an upgraded one. Um, okay. I guess we'll do boar breeding. Where do I have that, even? Probably Ekrond, right? So this is a tinker bench, yeah, so we need the upgraded workshop. So we need 6k for that. Alright, so we'll have to pile up some cash there. Alright, army-wise. I'm still paranoid about the border princes sending forces across the bay at me. Or the inlet at me. I feel like it's going to happen sooner or later. I honestly wouldn't mind having a peace agreement with them. Um, they don't seem very receptive, though. Can give them a shot again. Your man gods and dubious masters have no place here. Man gods. Chances low. And I could give them some cash. If I do that, it's still low, so, yeah. That's fine. Eventually I might turn my attention to them, but I really should focus on the dwarves. Um, I also have to deal with the greenskins at some point. Alright, you guys. Let's get moving. This force, we're going to swap that unit over. And run back into the mines. What are you doing? Now's the time. Alright, it showed it as highlighted, but I guess we can't go back till next turn. That's fine. Whatever. Not we have likely. here. Bolt thrower. Don't think so. He's got two heroes. Just a thane. Some cannons. I don't know if I can even afford to do anything. 641, man. It's a 45% chance. Assassinations, not great. It's really pricey to do that, so I'm going to hold off. I'm just going to head in to keep an eye on stuff. Stay in their zone, but I'll just get this way. close to the border. I could deploy, but just reduces winds of magic. That's all. Which isn't that big a deal. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I'd like to go for them, but I kind of need to deal with these idiots up here. All right, I'm going. They're on the way, but they're probably all going to die. Let's take a look at our territories. Uh, I mean, I can repair, but I really don't feel like there's much point. You can just come back and hit me again. Yeah, we could get production, like unit production down here, but that's not a priority. Gold is kind of the priority. So here, Brimstone and Dragon, Boar, or Dragon Horn are both relatively well protected. I'm going to do that, even though I feel like I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm just going to leave those damage because I don't think there's any point. Greenskins are moving in. I don't know if they're making a move on the... Uh... Yeah, not making a move on the Beastmen. They're just sort of wandering through the area, it looks like. They're splitting up their armies. Okay, Beastmen are kind of moving off. Imminent Rebellion in Death Pass. If we don't act at once, the Rage Populace will rise against us. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Um... I mean, the territory is screwed, as it is. Um, I wonder if they're upset because I didn't repair stuff. Does that make a difference? Maybe it does. Yeah, I mean, if they rebel, it's not a huge deal. Um, all right. Baby force. Just get in the mines. You guys. Plot an interception course. They're kind of leaving. I'm not sure if they actually will. It'd be nice if they'd wander off. Um, I don't like these guys creeping in, so I'm going to go ahead and make a move here. Maybe it will converge if the beastmen wander off. Got so little cash coming in, I really can't do anything. So yeah, hostile army over there now. Okay, they just ate my WA army, it looks like. Yeah, the beastmen are kind of wandering off. It's a bunch of goblins, and they're going to win! Um, I bet if I fight this, I bet I could win. <laughs> they're just goblins, and even though my savage orcs are hurt, they're still savage orcs.
does have a character and I don't, so we might break and run away before we get a chance to really do much. The Red Fangs Rebels. Like, it's showing it way in their advantage, but they're just, I mean, they're upgraded slightly, but they're still just goblins. The spear is a solid weapon, piercing and defensive. Goblins, however. Expendable, poor leadership. Just gonna advance. They're all basic spearmen. We can one on one each of them. They will have the leader free, but he's just a goblin. I mean, my guys are kind of hurt though. So that is potentially a problem. If I can get the charge off, I think we'll be... I mean, put up a good fight, anyway. Take a look at the little stunty goblins. Oh, they're so tiny. All right, time to charge. Go, my little buddies. And it's a giant front on front mess, and we can probably come out on top if we break their leadership. But they're holding quite well, actually. I think their leader is kicking my butt. Yeah, he's causing me some problems. If I can win a fight somewhere, then we can try to roll through, but it looks like we're going to break here, probably. Yeah, it's the leader that's doing me in. That unit's breaking. So my center's collapsing. Yeah, I thought we'd do better than this, fighting goblins. Because their leadership's holding. And I couldn't double up on any of them. Yeah, it's that leader that's killing me. Even though he's just a goblin. Don't think they're gonna rally. We're gonna win on the left flank here, though. Well, maybe. Yeah, we're just falling apart. Yeah, I think we killed more that way than just auto-resolving it. Uh, Yeah, we killed like a fifth of them. We did actually kill a lot. 41 kills, 48 kills, 33, 18, 37. Yeah, their leader got 33, so that's really what did it in for me.
That's fine. So they'll take the territory. It's not a huge deal. It wasn't really providing me a lot. And we can kind of snatch it back whenever. But we've got to deal with the uh, dwarf forces here. I'm happy the beastmen wandered off. As much as I'd like to kill stuff, um, it's nice that they're going to go harass somebody else. Preferably one of my enemies. So we'll see what I can do against those weakened armies. The two dwarf armies there. So there's two of them, but they should be weak because they did just fight the Wa force. So I don't know if Warzog can take both of them. It depends on how strong. Like, if they're both really beat up, we should be okay. I can probably even just auto-resolve it. But if the chances are bad, then I might have to hold off. Um, it depends. They might just run, too, trying to get back to the garrisons. If they'd been a little slower, we could have potentially gotten both of the armies. Uh, just had Warzog and them arriving at the same time. Maybe I should have sent the Wall Force against the Beastmen, maybe, but... Um, you know, if things had gone the same, the Beastmen just would have wandered off before they ever got near them, so... Eh. At least this way they softened up the dwarves for me. The insolent fools of this province have risen up against us. They must be swiftly and brutally crushed. And now, Azag the Slaughterer is raiding my territories. My wall has been destroyed. Imminent Rebellion, Blood River Valley. armies. Blood River Valley, isn't that where Barak Var is? Yeah, it can't be that bad. It is bad. Wow, okay. It's way worse than I expected. I guess because we're being, it's just we've been constantly raided. It's been causing so many problems, and now the stupid greenskins are raiding me. Alright, that is really frustrating. I can't let this territory fall. But I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Um, I could run across the border. Since I can't make it to them anyway. If I get in the territory. Is that enough? To stop it. Yeah, so temporarily buys me a little bit of time. Does leave this problem, though. Don't think so. Yeah, they're pretty banged up. Stop that. Be gone. Well, not that banged up, but they're a little banged up. This army is not super strong, but it does have a lot of trolls. Let's see if I can lure them out, maybe. I could even bring these guys up. Potentially. Not that it's helping a lot. 
but if I could bring them up for just a little bit of assistance, if they come after me, maybe we can do something. But I don't think I can get close enough to help. Uh, I'm going to march out, though. We'll see what I can do. Don't want to pay the cash to damage an army, at least not yet. I don't know why he's raiding my territory. This is really irritating. It's just Azag by himself, too, which is kind of irritating. But it's enough of a problem. Uh, I've even got, like, a boss tent out here. Didn't realize it had gotten that bad. We're stable here in the center. I need to stockpile some cash for research. Down here we're stable as well. Things are not great up here. Yeah, I've got to stabilize this territory. This is really important. Um, if I can settle this, then I can at least do... Oh. <laughs> Well, look at what we've got here. Thorgrib has shown up. Uh, would you guys please consider killing Thorgrim for me? I would really appreciate it. So I know you're not going to do it. Yeah, he might come down and just settle this first, or he might just go for the pillars and taking Karaza Karak. I have very little defenses here, so... Well, Karaza Karak has an okay defensive force. Pillars of Grungi does not. He's not running a full take army. I don't think he can take Karaza Karak. Yeah, I think that's about all I can really do. Uh, I'd really like you to not raid my territory, please. Save it. And we'll go a little bit longer and see what happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit pillars. Yeah, whatever. See if it takes it back. Nope. Well, that's a problem as well. Got too many problems at the moment. Okay, Karakazul is backing off. Alrighty, ransack Pillars of Grungi. More beastmen appearing somewhere. Raiding, raiding. Oh, there's beastmen right here. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have you just move into there. I think I'm just going to cross the border and then uh, I can't switch into raid stance now. That's too bad. Let's go deal with these idiots up here. Can't attack them yet.
tempted to attack Azag up here. Um, it's still going down, even with my army here, because he keeps raiding. There's nothing I can do. That's really frustrating. And this territory is going to go down awfully quick. Like, I need to stop you raiding. <laughs> In my territory, buddy. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference if I'm in a territory. Uh, I'm going to just move in over here. I might have to kill this guy. I mean, that would start a war, though, so I really can't, but... That's really irritating. I don't know why allies can do that. But I think that would be an act of war as well. They're building up as well. Move, move. Just keep an eye on things. All right, well... If he's going to continue raiding, I am going to lose this, like, this territory, there's going to be a rebellion. I can defeat the army, though, that rebels, probably. Up here, it's a bit more of an issue. Now we could try to repair, I guess. He's just going to attack me again, most likely. Okay, he's going for it again. Not a surprise. Yep, sacked again. Raiding, raiding. Imminent rebellion in Blood River Valley. Imminent rebellion in the Silk Road. Awesome. Thanks so much, my stupid allies. Alright, go kill them. War be declared. Gato. Yeah. Oh, I never put my banners anywhere. Let's give like one of my trolls some magic resistance. Extra leadership can go to another troll unit. Why not? Get a pretty good amount of cash here, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna take the cash. I kinda need it. Let's get moving. Troll Herder. Fencer's Blades. I don't think going in a territory helps me. Uh, 
So if I like, go in Varenka Hills, I don't think it actually helps change anything. Um, okay. What I'm going to do is go into Karazkarok. And if he wants to stay here, I'm going to make a push on him. And we're just going to keep an eye on these guys. Alright. Is there anything I can do that can get me cash? That's kind of what my concern is at the moment. Um, kind of? Like a tiny bit? There's no point doing anything in Pillars of Grungi. It's all messed up. Uh, Barak Var. We're going to have a rebellion. Depends on where it is. Um, I might have to deviate over to deal with the situation. Ugh, it's such a mess. Three bits. Give me some extra HP. And I'm not going to bother fixing the territory, fixing the building. So he's probably going to sack it again or take it over. Yeah, he just keeps hitting it over and over again. With my spells. Hmm. Karakazul wants a peace agreement. I might actually take that right now, the way things are going. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to accept. I need to deal with the dwarves first. There was a grunky, was raised. Not so nice. Rebellion in Blood River. Raiding in Blood River, raiding in Blood River, raiding in Silver Road, yeah, everything's awesome. Okay. So we've got some rebels to deal with. I think that's what we divert your attention over towards. He's still raiding my territory, which is really frustrating. You guys are going to stay put. I'm actually losing cash now. There's an army right outside. Let's just go wreck their day. That's what you get. Take some leadership. Bold. Crown of Command. Unbreakable. Let's take Kill them all. Hours. It's at least giving me some cash. taken any losses? Not really. Yeah, I'll take leadership. We unlocked the Arachnok Queen. Arachnok Spider. Poisonous, corrosive venom dripped from her fearsome jaws. She first ensnares her victims in a web of dense sticky silk. Cool. Obedience. Banner of Eternal Flame. Some fire damage. 
Recruitment cost is less for Savage Orc units. To look at all my characters and give them stuff. Uh, I can even push on into you, can't I? Let's take a look at this first. So we've got Gambler's Armor. I think that's the best thing I've got. Melee Defense, Melee Attack. Uh, the Fencer's Blades are better. Nothing there. Okay. How about... I mean, Arcane Conduit isn't terrible, but I think we eventually need to do a bunch of raiding, so I'm going to take the raiding. Let's look at everybody else. Sly, I don't know if there's anything I can really give you that matters. You're not in fights, so it doesn't matter. Most of these just don't apply to you, so that's fine. Enchanted Shield. Brass Cleaver's fine. Dawnstone's fine. Potion of Toughness. Sure, that's all fine. The little guy. Give you the gold sigil stored. sword, if I can talk correctly. Um, do have the Crown of Command. Give you Savage or Prada. Backstab a Cyril Luda. This guy's kind of weak, but I could give him the Crown of Command. He's the toughest secondary, so probably I should give him the Crown of Command if I was going to do that. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I think I'm actually going to give my goblin guy the potion of toughness. Other units. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can go hit him immediately. He's running. Killing time. Just barely catch him. I'm just going to auto resolve it. We should have a pretty big advantage here. Ooh, it did trash me pretty bad. Wiped out some of his stuff. Um, yeah, let's eat the captives for some recovery. Just fell oh, apart. No. Got a brass cleaver. More stuff I have to mess with. The great green <laughs> All right, so much for that. Safety. Fine there. Sly doesn't need anything. You're fine. You're fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. To get back across the border here. Still kind of keeping an eye on them. But I'm going to move across the border. They can't take Barakvar, there's no way. Alright, as far as everything else goes... Stabilizing in Karakvar. Or Karazakarak, Silver Road. Uh, stabilizing here, actually, in Blood River Valley. 
This is Savage Works, yeah. Savage Work Recruitment. They're building up that army there. I don't know why. Like, I almost expect him to just attack me at some point. I could upgrade some territories. I need cash to upgrade this, though. Which is, what, 6,000? Yeah. So really, I should just focus on anything that gives me cash. Uh, Ekrand has a spot. So we can recruit Savage Orcs down here. And we can recruit regular guys. Alright, yeah, so we're fine there. Uh, I could just go for some defenses. That kind of makes the most sense to me, but I think we have to hold off. Brimstone. Yeah, we're fine there. Yeah, it's really just all about cash. And I need the 6,000. So, uh, this might be a good place to stop. Is there anything else I want to do? I think we can go one more turn, just deal with these rebels, and I think we'll be okay. Why don't you go wander somewhere else off? That's fine. Your ally has been attacked. Karakazul has attacked the Greenskins. Um, yeah, we're right back in a war, unfortunately. Enemy has become a vassal. So the rebels that took over Iron Rock are now joining the Greenskins. That's really unfortunate. We'll make peace for now. That's fine. Eastman. Getting raided. Okay. Peace negotiated. Yeah, sure. All right, yeah, the rebels. Oh, say me to battle. Now we're talking. Kill the rebels. Escape. Uh, yeah, just eat them. This is fine. Sword of battle, backstabber. All right. We got some leveling. Territory is safe. The boys are restless. Yeah, just more HP is fine. My little gobbo dude doing well. Dodgy geezer. Missile resistance 10%. Yeah, let's take that. That sounds good. Alright, you're gonna sit tight. Need to cross over. I might want to settle those two territories myself. But for the time being. Alright, I'm going. Oh, uh, we can't quite make it inside. Likes it. Just get in there. Alright, so recover and then I might take those two over after the army's back to full strength. I'm hoping Karakazul mainly messes with the Greenskins. Uh, Iron Rock is now under their control, so that's fine. Mess with them. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on things. Hooray!
All right, what I do have to do, though, is get research going. I have to get this upgraded, even though it's super expensive. Just so I can keep doing any more research for interesting stuff. So, yeah, I think that's going to do. So we'll go ahead and stop here. Uh, we're in an okay spot. Things have kind of sort of stabilized, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're getting a positive here, partially because I have the army here. Blood River Valley, also positive, partially because I have an army nearby. Good, you're good. All right, so we did do an okay job. The top knots are now gone. Another dwarven army dead. Uh, unfortunately, I did lose control of Iron Rock, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, Greenskins, I mean, I kind of want to keep the Greenskins weak, but I'd also like them to be fighting my enemies for me a little bit, too. Uh, we'll see how that progresses. All right, this has been more Total War Warhammer. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.